Hey everyone, what's up? Jono here. Since I stripped the motor down in those various strip down and tear down episodes that I produced, I was actually kind of keen on working out how the cooling for the water galleries and also the oil works on these engines. So if I can quickly show you, over here, the, the actual water pump sits around about here and there's a hole that goes in and it goes straight through the jacket. You can maybe just see my finger, maybe not. It just goes straight through into these jackets around the engine. These, these are all connected and they all circulate. One thing <clears throat> you might also find kind of interesting is between the Siamese bores here, you'll notice a gallery going in over there. And then if you notice, there's a gallery running that way. Can you see that there? That basically connects this, this side up to this side, but it, it, it comes across the actual where the bores meet and it, uh, it cools the, the, the cylinders where the water jackets can't, couldn't normally touch. So there is like, a, like an important little feature to the block. From there, just back up a bit. You can see on the cylinder head, these galleries all match these ones and uh, the water will proceed to go through the engine block and then they'll go into the cylinder head to keep the cylinder head cool. Basically they're all flowing and they will come out over here. Whichever way and direction that it flows, um, I suspect it's the block and then into the head and then out through the thermostat. Here's the, the big sort of exit point for the water that comes in, but maybe you guys can correct me. Perhaps it does flow head to block first. I just had to rotate that block. So yeah, the oiling system, how does that all come into play? Let's start over here. The oil pump is situated over here. So the inlet and the outlet are over here. Just travel around the block. Go straight from pump location to where the oil filter will go. I had to actually like look a little bit more because I couldn't work out where the oil will go from this point here. I actually figured it out. Oil pump and sorry, oil pump, oil filter, and then oil gallery. It comes up through this little hole, and if we match it to the cylinder head, the oil will come up through through here, and then it'll flow weirdly into where the head stud bolt bore is and cut out. So I was like, well, that's weird. How does that actually go through? You can't really see it. There's a little hole sort of halfway down for the oil to travel, which I found. And that oil for that hole goes to this little bore valve. So from there, presumably it goes into other parts and apparatus, which will distribute it around the cylinder head. Once oil gets into the cylinder head, I think these may be oil galleries, but I'm not sure. It will eventually need to get back down. How does that work? Where does the oil go? You can look over here quickly, and we've got these holes. You can just see my finger there. So they will eventually come back down. And if we match that to the block, you can see that these drainage galleries, they mate up to the block over here. And that comes back down into the block. Okay, so we turn the block around, we can see that those two galleries flow down there and there and yeah, eventually back into the sump. Frustratingly, I filmed a further video of actually doing a clean down, a little bit of a mild clean of this cylinder head. Unfortunately, I was cleaning my phone up for space and I stupidly deleted it. So I'll have to probably do a little follow up video, maybe just deep clean this. But as you can see, it's in quite good condition. Not too bad, not too sad. One thing I can see over here is like you've got some sharp edges, which I, personally I would like to, you know, I'd like to see if I can port those, polish them, maybe deshroud these valves a little. Until then, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until later, we'll catch you soon.